Lou, we're here at a volunteer fire department in Dale City, Virginia, to take a look at some products that may have mitigated some of that damage we saw in San Diego and maybe even saved some people's homes. We're going to talk to Paul Perrier. He's the national project manager for My Green Cottage, which works with such products. And Paul, Michael. Thank you very much for being with us You're today. Welcome. And we have an, a sample of your product right here. Tell me a little bit about it. What we have at the heart of the structure is a, a steel EPS foam, and then it's veneered both exterior and in interior with conventional building products. Right. So basically what you're telling me is that this steel part here and the foam is replacing your normal wood frame. Absolutely, yes. It's a much more efficient, much more uh, environmentally friendly uh, application and building structure. All right. So tell me how this might have helped avoid some of that damage that we saw in San Diego. The big problem with a conventional structure is flame propagation. If a uh, flame were to penetrate either on the, from the interior or exterior of the building, it will not propagate once it's in the structure. So once the fire department has removed the fire, this will not continue to travel through the walls and up through the roof, causing a loss of the building. Here to help us put this wall to the test is Lieutenant Danny Dutch. And Hi, Mike. Danny, tell us what we're going to see. Uh, today we're going to test this structure using an acetylene torch. Mm -hmm. uh, a typical wood frame structure burns between 400 and 600 degrees. This torch is going to burn in excess of 5,000 degrees. So we're really going to put this system to the test and see what it can do. Let's do it. All right. All right, right now as we have the flame from the torch impinging upon the structure, on the inside, uh, when the flame was burning, we saw temperatures reach in excess of 600 to 700 degrees uh, without any negligible change on the outside. I still had readings of about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is normal. Uh, again, when we use the torch on the outside of the structure, uh, we actually maxed out the temperature probe. and We were only unable to get any higher reading. We were well over 700, 800 degrees. Yet on the inside of the structure, we still had very low temperatures. I think the highest we reached was probably about 80 to 90 degrees. In a normal wood frame home, with the temperatures we're seeing here, we probably would have seen, again, uh, ignition temperatures reached, which is four to 600 degrees, and we could have possibly seen uh, the wood ignite on the inside of the structure and flame extension through the wall and possibly up into the ceiling. So it is quite possible that using these materials, we could have saved some of those homes in San Diego. I could definitely see a decrease in the chance of extension throughout a house with this type of material versus the traditional wood frame. All right, Paul, so this is the wall that we saw burned. And if we look behind it, what would have happened to this foam had the flame gone through and, and gotten to the foam? We'd have seen a recession or melting of the foam only in the area that the flame made direct contact, no propagation up or to the sides of the wall. So what you're saying is that flame would have been contained here and it wouldn't have gone up into the entire wall? Any damage would have been contained right in this area only. All right, so why don't we see more of this stuff, Paul? Well, it's tradition. It wasn't my grandfather's or father's building material of choice, but it is the appropriate material in today's environment. As a firefighter, would you like to see more of these types of materials in traditional building? Uh, from what we've seen here today, this looks like something that's much more stable, much more fire resistant, uh, saves the lives of the people living in the house, and, and possibly makes our job a little less hazardous if the, if the structure is still uh, in tech, has integrity. The steel and foam framing is very competitively priced with traditional wood framing. In fact, it goes up much quicker at two to three days as opposed to two or three months. And Lou, it is very environmentally friendly. That foam you saw on the inside there is often reused as stuffing for kids' toys.